Kia ora, welcome to this little tutorial on how to get started using Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to start off by creating a new file. And because this file is for print, I'm going to click on print. I'm going to choose an A4 size page. And I want to work in millimetres. I can change my orientation here from portrait to landscape. And I'm going to leave the colour mode and the raster effects and just click on create. Now what I'm going to start off by doing is uh, giving you a little bit of a tour around the interface. So I'm on a Mac at the moment, um, but you'll have uh, similar things available to you on uh, if you're working on a Windows PC. So across the top you have your file menu. Underneath that you have what's known as the contextual menu. This will change here depending upon what tool or object you've got selected. In the centre you've got your artboard. You can have more than one artboard laid out side by side, but for a start we'll just work with one. You can see that um, here's the file name, the currently unsaved file, and it tells you whether it's in CMYK colour mode or RGB colour mode, and what the zoom level is. On the left here I have the toolbar. I prefer working with it in this double column mode because then the colour picker options down here are really easy to click. Um, over on the right here there are various um, buttons where you can access little panels or palettes that fly out. So you can change uh, which panels are docked over here and you can customise the workspace and the interface to your liking. Uh, to get a few ideas for presets, if you click up here, I've got a saved workspace called Philippa, but there are a whole bunch of different workspaces. So if you click on, for instance, Layout, it will change what the page looks like. I'm going to pop that back to my workspace. If you want to add a workspace that you can't see here, for instance, Layers is a really common one. Sometimes that gets uh, goes missing. Come up to Window. And if you scroll down here, you can find the palette that you need. So you can see it's currently turned on. Some of them have keyboard shortcuts as well that you can learn here. I've got a couple of um, handy panels. I'll just minimise that. A couple of handy panels that I like to keep up at each uh, at all times. So I have the Pathfinder panel, the Align panel, and the Transform panel. Um, you'll notice that um, some panels have a little double arrow just to the left of the name. If you click on this, it'll change the size of the panel. So you can either have it really nice and compact, or you can open it up and have access to all of the tools. I like to keep this one down lower left, but it's up to you. Um, we're going to start uh, working in this document by learning how to move around. So the tool that you'll have to begin with, and which I consider your default tool, is the black arrow tool, the selection tool. If you hover over it, you can see it's got a keyboard shortcut of V. So this is the tool that we use for selecting objects, selecting groups, selecting large things. To move around your canvas, to move around your artboard, hold the spacebar down and you get the hand tool. And that way you can just move things around. You can see the little hand clicking and grabbing. When you release the spacebar, it goes back to the previous tool. So that's a nice quick shortcut pressing shift. To zoom in and out, you can use Command or Control, Plus and Minus. So Command or Control, Plus will zoom you in. Command or Control, Minus will zoom you out. And when you do that, you can see you've got loads of room out here on the pasteboard. I really like having a white pasteboard because I started using Illustrator ages ago. But I also like it because I'm often working on white and I find it really hard to tell colour when the interface out here on the pasteboard is dark. If you'd like to change that, you can um, pop up on Windows to Edit Preferences or on Mac to um, Illustrator Preferences General and then within the Preferences dialog box you can come down to User Interface and you can change how that looks. So you can see there's my artboard and there's the interface is dark but I prefer it to be white. Up to you. It doesn't make any difference to the artwork that you actually export out the end of things. 
There's another really um, important little option in the preferences that I'm going to draw your attention to. And it's this one over here on the general tab, if you look at scale, strokes and effects, this is always turned on or turned off and it's always the wrong way. So if you're having issues with scaling things, um, come and check that here or uncheck it. You can also use um, keyboard shortcuts to zoom in. So you can use command or control space and command control alt space to zoom in and zoom out. If you can't remember these, you can have a look up here under the view option and you can see the keyboard shortcuts listed. Um, one of the first things I recommend you do is save your file. So go file and we're going to choose save as because this is the first time we're saving this file. I'm just going to pop this on the desktop and I'm going to call this my project. It'll be a .ai file, that's fine. Click on save. You usually don't need to change many settings here. If your file is huge, you might want to turn off PDF compatible file, but for most files it's okay to leave it on and click OK. And that's it. Thank you for watching.